Did you know that MS Excel is the most asked skill for any jobs these days? Internship or fresher jobs for it? Look. So here, Spain is looking for assistant customer relationship manager. The salary offer is four to five lakh per annum, and the skills required is MS Excel. Godrej Industries is looking for account payable specialist. The salary offer is three to four lakh per annum, and the skills required MS Excel. Next is Byju's. Byju's is looking for business development associate. The salary offer is three to four lakh per annum, and the skills required is MS Excel. So, Hena, ये एक must have skill that you should mention in your resume in order to get a high paid job. और एन इंटर्नशिप आई नो आप सोच रहे होंगे दैट आई एम राइट बट एक्सेल लुक्स कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टू लर्न एंड यू डोंट नो वेयर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम डोंट वरी मैं हूं ना इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद एक्सेल बेसिक ऑप्शन इन एक्सेल बेसिक फॉर्मूला इन एक्सेल क्रिएटिंग ग्राफ एंड चार्ट्स इन एक्सेल सो लेट्स बिगिन विद गेटिंग स्टार्टेड विद एक्सेल एट द टॉप यू विल सी दिस इज द रिबन बार So ribbon is basically a graphical interface with tabs, groups, commands for performing various tasks. So next we have columns and rows. So basically this is the column and this is the row. And then we have name box so you can see whenever I'm clicking on a cell the name box is changing, right? So basically it represents the column and the row you have selected. For example, if I click here, you will see this is C Seven C seven. So this is basically a name box. So next we will learn about basic options in MS Excel. So we'll begin with rows and columns. So let's go to the sheets, and we would like to add one row and one column here. So how to add one column here? We we'll click here at the top, right click, and insert columns. So we can add as many as columns we want. And in case you want to add one row in between and add more student data. what you can do you can click here right click insert rows and now you can add the student data here but for now we would like to delete it let's delete right click and delete columns right this is the way you can add columns and rows in your sheet this is very simple right now we will talk about worksheet so what are worksheets so basically a worksheet is visible here but if you want to create multiple worksheets so you can create from this plus option So you can see the new sheet option here. You can add as much as sheets you want, and the multiple sheets you can see here. It is called a workbook, and you can also rename it. Just click double click here, and you can also rename these things, box sheets. We will learn about freezing the rows and the columns. So why do we freeze the rows and columns? For example, we want to keep the title there so that we can scroll with the data and the name stays there, right? So what we'll do? we'll begin with the row so we would like to freeze this top header we'll go to views here you can see freeze space option so freeze top row and now you can see a line has appeared here and you can scroll it down but it's frozen there so you can scroll down but the header will remain there in case you want to freeze the top row and the left column uh, how to do it together so what you can do you can click here just leave one row and one column click here and go to freeze panes you can see automatically it has frozen the top and the left row and column areas right so top row is frozen you can scroll and left column is frozen you can scroll so this is the way you can freeze the top row and the left column together let's remove it So now we'll go through with the table formatting. Very simple, but very important. So, for example, we want to work multiple cells in the header, and you can see here whenever you type, the content basically appears in one cell only, right? But we want all the header cells to be merged in single cell, right? So these five cells, we want to convert these into one cell. So how to do that? We'll select all these cells. We'll go to Home. there you can see merge and center right merge cells and merge and center is almost same the only difference is, is that the content will appear at the center when you click here so merge and center and you can see it is now a single cell we have merged all the cells this is simple but very important next we have the wrap text so what happens sometimes is when we write inside a cell uh, the content is too much and it doesn't get fit inside a cell so we can wrap the text under that cell so how to do that let's type the text for example the feedback for amit is amit needs to improve now you can see it has overlapped the boundaries so what we are going to do we are going to click here 
and we have to fit the content inside the cell. So here, above the merge, you will find the wrap text. So whenever you click on the cell and click wrap text, so it will automatically fit the content inside a cell. Simple but very important. Next, we will learn about the alignment. So you can see there are too much space along with the content, along with the numbers, along with the alphabets. So we want to align the text at the center. So what we'll do, we can select all these cells or we can select from the above and we will click on the center alignment from there. So you can do the formatting from here as well. Second is the fill color. We want to like keep some background color for the title. So from here, we can fill the colors. This is the way. And we can also put the draw the border colors. So here you can see the border color option. So as per your requirement, you can do the border colors. Next, if you want to change the font style, you can also do that. So to select the whole sheet, you can click at the bottom like this, and you can change the font style. So and there are multiple options available here for the formatting for example bold italic so you go through with them all these and uh, i'm sure you must have used these options in other uh, softwares also so now let's talk about filters so filters are very useful if you want to segregate a particular data you can do that so here you can see we have three sections a b and c what you can do you can select all the columns go to home the filter option so this icon represents the filter so click on the filters and you'll see the filters are made here. Click on apply and now only one section data is available here. So this will help you to analyze the data for a particular section or section B. And now I can do the same thing. It's very helpful when you're dealing with a very large data. It will filter out particular uh, data for you. So next we'll go through with the basic formulas in Excel. Basic functions will be useful for you is addition, subtraction, division, right? So you can do those here as well very quickly. So let's go through with few options. For example, if you want to do the addition of the marks, to select all these cells inside the formulas, you'll see an auto sum option. It is a very simple option. Just click on this and it will automatically sum of the marks, right? And the good thing is that once you drag it down, it will automatically do the sum for you for other marks as well. So this is an automation available for sum here. And if you want to do the division, for example, you want to make an average of three semester marks. So you can do that as well. Click on the auto sum and then for the divided backslash and three. Here we got the average. So the average is 25. So this is the way you can use the formulas just like you do in the calculator and there are multiple options available for example you want to do it manually you can do that do that for example i'll type equal to open brackets cell one plus cell two this is the way to select the three cells close the bracket and enter now you can see manually i have added to three marks and if i want to do the division Divided by two. 25 is the average. So these are the formulas you can use in the MS. Next, we will learn about creating graph and charts. So these are very simple. You just have to select the data and it will automatically make the graph and charts for you. So here you will go to insert option. You have columns line, pi, bar, you can create a chart for your analytics as per your convenience. So what we'll do, we'll create, select the data for section 1 and we'll go to insert and we'll go to columns and then select the column. So you can see as per the, the student it is created the bars. So that was all. If you want to upgrade yourself in the MS Excel, we also have a training in Donshala. You can go through with that. It's advanced Excel. Also, it is very important to learn the basic of Excel. In most of the jobs, basic Excel is required. Whatever I have taught you today, so these are the basic things, but these will enable you to maintain data, create data sets in your first job, in your internships. 
also after learning the basic things of ms excel you can mention uh, it in your resume also it will help you get a job and ms excel is very much required in the industry as per my experience as well because in every job you need to know about the basics of ms excel so if you want to learn advanced excel we also have training available in donchala but for now just learn the basics mention it in your resume and get a job if you have any question just mention it in the comment section i would be happy to answer that if you want more such videos help us with the topic in the comment section thank you very much and best of luck